Let's take a look at a, a Joule Thief and a uh, DC boost converter. A Joule Thief is sometimes called a blocking oscillator. Now, let's start with just a, a DC relay. When we energize the relay, the uh, the magnetic field in the, in the core here builds up and the armature pulls in, pulling and closing the contact. Now, when we de-energize the coil, this field collapses, the magnetic field collapses, and it puts a spike back into our circuit. And so we want to eliminate that, so we put a diode across here so that any uh, excess voltage comes back in and just gets dissipated in the, in the coil. But we can use that effect to increase the voltage on a load. Say so we have a uh, maybe a one volt battery here, an old battery that's got one volt in it, and our load here happens to be a diode and we want to have, uh, it needs two to three volts to operate. So we have a uh, inductor here, and then we have our MOSFET here. So we turn the MOSFET on, current flows through the inductor and back into the battery here. The magnetic field builds up here. We turn the uh, MOSFET off. This field collapses. The voltage goes into through this diode into a capacitor and into our load here, turning our, our load on with, this, the, with the extra voltage. Now, we don't need... Uh, all this stuff here here you need to have some kind of something to pulse the MOSFET with usually maybe a 5 5 type 5 timer or something but we can do it with just uh, just a coil so we have here I've got a battery here I, this battery's been on there for a while we have a battery uh, and a coil and then our load here so I'm just gonna short this uh, out right here and we can I'll see if I can get it to light there we go. So, yeah, you can see it on the camera. So, that's that's all you need to do. You just want to uh, get a magnetic field going in this coil, and then collapse it, and we're going to use that excess uh, uh, voltage to to run our relay. Here we want to get rid of it, but in this case we're going to use it to control our load. Now, we can build up this circuit, or we can just cheat and get a this XY eighty eighteen and these are little um, chips that are in uh, in solar garden lights and that they're they're very cheap and uh, for that all you need is a battery the the LED and an external uh, uh, inductor here and everything else is in here the, there's a uh, you know the pulse with mo or the the oscillators built into it everything's built into the unit so all you need to do is uh, I'll put this one here's one here and if I put that on there, it just lights up. So these are, I think I bought 10 of these for <laughs> 60 cents or something, but it was cost more to ship them. So they're very cheap. And they're in these little uh, solar garden lights that you can get. So now let's take a look at a jewel thief. So here's a jewel thief over here. Now, what's that on there? There we go. Um, what happens to the Joule Thief here is we've got two coils and they're, these little dots mean that they're uh, 80, 180 degrees out of phase around op, in, wound in opposite directions on here. So when the battery's in here, the uh, voltage comes through here and we get current running through our into our base here. And say that the uh, current coming through here into this 1K resistor is say, uh, 10, say, it's, say it's 10 microamps. So this happens to be a 2N222. I think I added a 2 there. And the gain on these transistors is about uh, about 200. So at 10 microamps times our 200, so that would be uh, 2,000 microamps or say 2 milliamps. So we'd have 2 milliamps running through this coil and through the through the transistor. Not enough to light this up. But what happens as this the magnetic field in this coil builds up, this moving magnetic field induces a voltage into this coil. Now, this coil comes down here and it increases the, the current through the into the base, and then the transistor uh, closes off even more so that more current can flow through this, uh, this coil here. Now, when the current in this one is connected to the battery, flows through, when it builds up to its maximum, it can't, it can't go anymore, and at that point it's not a, it's saturated, it's not a moving magnetic field anymore, so this, this coil isn't excited anymore. It drops out, dro the base drops out, opening up the uh, transistor. 
then this this coil collapses the voltage in here collapses and comes down through the uh, and this is open and it comes down through our our LED here turning it on so here's a unit right here that I made up and uh, very simple to make up it has uh, just a transistor and a diode that's it now what I did down here is I made another one up and I used two separate uh, inductors on here and two and I, I eliminated the uh, the transistor here I mean eliminated the resistor have the transistor there now we're gonna we're gonna put this on a, on a breadboard and see what it see what it does so here we are over here I've got uh, I'm going to turn I have this on a power supply I'm going to turn that up to uh, 70, uh, 70 volts right now and of course the uh, the lights not on these two we have current running through this this one here goes to the base this goes to the collector of the uh, of the uh, transistor so we have current running through here and through here but it's not enough to uh, we need to turn this one on and off but if I pull them close together then I can induce a, a voltage into this one which starts this uh, all up again where I can uh, here it is over here so the, the, this current builds up in this one when it gets up to the uh, uh, max it's it uh, turns this one off and starts the whole cycle running over and over again so when they're apart nothing happens when I put them together it, it turns the LED on now you're saying well this there's no moving field because this is right now this got as much current in it it's already uh, have current running through it and it's maxed out but I'm moving physically moving it into the magnetic field there and then it starts the process all over again so but if we hold these together and I crank up the voltage I, I can turn this unit off so what happens when the voltage gets up now on my power supply I can I can get a lot of current running through here so I'll turn it back down and it comes on and and with my power supply it turns off about one volt with this so um, and I'll see if I can go down to what uh, it's 0.6 volts so uh, it what happens is it turns it turns off because I'm just putting too much current in through this through the uh, this coil here into the uh, transistor and it's just turning that transistor on shorting out the the LED here so uh, there we go so if I crank up the voltage it just turns off so but that's uh, that's all you need for a uh, um, jewel thief uh, you don't even need to have a uh, the, the coil there if you don't want you can just use two two separate uh, inductors there and uh, that works just fine anyway that's uh, that's a jewel thief and a DC booster and uh, thank you